I'm Brian Gunn. I'm a civil engineer. I was the project engineer for the uh, uh, development of Roberts Bank Superport, the coal terminal, uh, West Shore terminals. And I also was the project manager for the expansion of the Richards Bay Coal Terminal, the largest independent coal terminal in the world. My name is Ricardo Foschi. I hold a PhD in engineering mechanics from Stanford University. My major interests are in issues of probabilities and uncertainties in engineering problems. I have participated, for example, on ice loadings against offshore structures like the Hibernia platform. I'm Peter Hatfield, naval architect, professional engineer. I've worked in marine transportation of refined products for 30, 35 years. In 2012, when we first became fairly aware of the uh, proposal for Northern Gateway to pipe oil from Alberta to Kitimat, uh, I was kind of shocked about that because uh, of the fact that they wanted to take tankers down through the uh, twisty channels of the West Coast, 160 nautical miles to Kitimat, and I thought you know, the more the tankers are exposed to these hazards, the more likely there is going to be an oil spill. And we decided that we would put together a group of concerned professional engineers and uh, we would uh, investigate uh, this situation from the, from the facts, from the material presented by uh, Northern Gateway to the Joint Review Panel of the National Energy Board, and that we would do the, a study on our own and make our own assessment of the risks. We are engineers, we're not opposed to development, but we would like to see development of, of these natural resources uh, on, based on, solid, on a solid foundation, both from an engineering and a scientific viewpoint. We have read all the documentation presented for, by Northern Gateway related to the project, particularly the risk analysis. The concern is that there will be spills that will be much more frequently than Enbridge said they would be, but even their spill frequency is too much compared to the kind of risks that we accept for airplane travel and bridge design and earthquakes, and that the damage to the pristine nature of the coast to the wildlife and the people who live along there just wasn't acceptable. So there are a lot of unanswered questions we feel that require more research and that the approval of this project should not be rushed while all these questions are still to be answered. I know that there's a number of people would say, yeah, well, the risks are high, but, but uh, th it's necessary for the economy. There's others that say that the risks are far too high and uh, we're appalled. There's others that say that we're opposed to any uh, expansion of uh, fossil fuels because of global warming. Uh, we get a mixed bag, but I think generally people value this province. They value the supernatural image. They value the outdoors. And I believe that if they know the risks are as high as they are, they won't accept that. Through this group of concerned professional engineers, to make sure that uh, everybody that's, that's uh, a user, so to speak, of the west coast of BC thoroughly understands the risks involved and what this transporta marine transportation of this product really does entail. Now we have the medium of the internet and social media, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff that I don't understand very well, but uh, there's young people in the business that understand it quite well, but, uh, and they're good at it. That's why we're doing this video now and talking to you because we need help in raising this money. We just have to demand that these projects are done safely and Northern Gateway is a long ways away from doing that.